Welcome back to another Procure, Pro, Procure Tube Draft on the internet here. I'm uh, Michael B. again, and I'm here with myself. And today we're doing a Tano stipulation. <clears throat> we have to take cards in the blue or red color identity. It, it, the stip is called, is it good? I believe. Oh. Right. Is it a good idea? And we have to take blue or red color identity Oh, I thought we were cards. doing that draw card one. <clears throat> Uh, not yet. Me and Thanos, uh, I've had this Thanos tip lined up for about a million years now because we can never line up. Um, and now we've done it. And boy, am I tempted to take this, but it makes it real awkward to play it, I think. Because it's triple black. Yeah. I could see Hazard being very good, but in a blue-red deck, I really just want to draw cards. <clears throat> no, non-blue or red. Yeah, but... If a card is in the blue or red color identity, like Figure of Destiny, I can still take it, correct? Because I need to know what to put in my EDH deck. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Do artifacts? We can take artifacts, right? I don't think so, man. Let me know. Okay, artifacts are good. What do we take, man? We got eight seconds. Seven seconds. Cruel, I guess. Definitely not Hazard. I want to take Cruel. <clears throat> Because actually, we can just play this real easily with a. Uh... Cruel Tomato is out? You said if it's in a blue or red color identity. Oh, that's sad. This is in the blue or red color identity. Oh, that's really sad. Deck may only contain red or blue color identity cards. That is a red or blue color identity card. Only? Oh my god. <clears throat> Stip ruined. Stip ruined already. <laughs> Dead Sides, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome, welcome. I guess mandatory Swiss sphere. Mandatory Swiss sphere? Yeah, it's mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to take it. It's mandatory Swiss sphere. <clears throat> Actually, Slaver is probably pretty good in the blue, the blue red stip. Yeah, you know what happened? You done messed up, hey, hey, Ron. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna take this guy. All right, here we go. Ooh, Deceiver Exarch is perfect for the blue red stip, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tons of new turtle stuff? Man, what an exciting turtle day at the PetSmart. I love turtle day. Is that a real day? Yeah, every year at PetSmart they have turtle day. Are you serious? No, I'm totally messing with you. But I did work there, so you gave me credit, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, I would have believed you. I would have yeah. been like, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> every year, a turtle day? Why did I know? I'd go there today. I have a turtle, by the way. I've had a turtle for about 16 years. She's been alive. It's like half your life, man. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna take Omen Speaker, I think. Oh, uh, there's Academy. Just saying. There is Academy. Just saying. Just saying. Cool Ultimatum does say draw a card. Yeah, we can uh we'll just combine the two steps. It's either Omen Speaker or Academy. I think it's Academy just way stronger. It's <laughs> Then, then, uh, then Omen Speaker, yes. In this cube, though, you know? I mean, I know as a card it is, but I don't know if there's enough... Is there enough artifacts to really, uh... Yeah, we did it that one time. You should get a rat to train your... <laughs> is that a meme? Like, is that... Oh, Force of Will? That's pretty good. That's probably better than, like, Arc Lightning or Mortipod, right? Yeah. I'll take a Force of Will. <clears throat> What's your turtle's name? Uh, turtle's name is actually Lady. Her name was originally Seymour. And then I realized she was a lady... And so since then, I've just called her Lady. Because I'm not a big fan of changing pets' names once they have their names. Because that's their name, right? Like, what do you think of the new forces in the DC Universe? I don't know about them yet. I'm catching up. I stopped reading comics for about three years, and I'm literally catching back up. So I'm reading everything from 2013 forward. Um, so I'm still trying to catch up. So give me about a year, and then we can talk. Oh, Other that's interesting. So they're doing more than the Speed Force. I have a ton of stuff to read, but on the on the other hand, I'm like really, I'm enjoying it because I won't run out of things to read for like a year. <clears throat> so let me see if I can actually show you guys my list of things to read right now without giving away a bunch of. Uh, so this is my reading order. It's under iPad reading order. I'm just gonna slide this half over. So this is where I'm at right now. I'm at. Let me let me take a make a make a pick here. Is it just Reality Smasher? Mm. Well, when he's the cast it currently. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Dang. Yeah. I always forget about that. That's hilarious. 
Can we floodplain or covetous dragon? Are we just a covetous dragon deck again? Remember that time we got we, we owned with this card? Maybe. Or it could just be turtle. Turtle works worth academy. Yeah, we'll take the turtle. Oh, dark steel citadel. I don't think it's prosperity. Ooh, fire diamond is actually better, right? Yeah, I think fire diamond is better. Yeah, all right, fire diamond. So this is my list right now. We have read Uncanny X Men, read all new X Men, <clears throat> read Cyclops and Legendary Starlord. All these tie in <laughs> together. Uh, that'll be four. Read Magneto, read Avengers, and then Avengers versus uh, the Axis storyline, and then finish off Magneto, Superior Iron Man, and then we go into Spider Verse, and uh, then like everything else is just like a, like just everything that's that's new and current. Venom Inc., Venom Verse, uh, into the new Punisher, new Daredevil. New Avengers, Weapon H. So that's my that's my list right now. There's a ton of reading I have to do. Big but list. meanwhile, I still haven't finished. Uh, I was reading the the Blackest Day, the Darkest Night storyline. Wow, that's old. Called. Yeah, it's, it's good old. though. It's good. It took Jean Baptiste a while to get used to his name. Venom Space Knight is on my list too. Did it? Was it on there? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it is, because I'm really like Donny Cates is one of my favorite authors. Like he's actually. Friggin' amazing. <clears throat> um, I think it's just Frostburn weird. This card's actually reasonable, right? I also have to finish Enter the Same, man. The Metallica song? It's no. not that long. It's probably like four minutes, man. <laughs> uh, I'm probably not getting to DC anytime soon. I do have a DC list as well. Um, but Donny Cates is actually insane. And I really wanted to read his Venom run, his new Venom run, and his new Cosmic Ghost Rider run. And in order to read the Venom run, I really need to know what happens with Flash Thompson and, and Eddie Brock to get to that point. So, uh, other colorless creatures get plus three, plus, plus one, plus oh, which could be good. I'm just going to take that guy. Eh, Crater Hellion. Oh, actually, Great Furnace is great with the uh, Academy. Great Furnace is great. <laughs> it lives up to its great name. <clears throat> Oh, wow. I was actually kind of hoping this guy came back. So we can relive the... Uh, the almost kill you? The almost kill you dream, yeah. the What do you got, 11 mana? All right, well, you, we win this time. Ooh, Urza's factory is real good, too. I actually like the way this deck is looking so far. Frogmite? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> God, what is that from? I'll never know. Wow. Okay. Get rewarded. Seed of the Sin. Oh, Pestermite. Did we take the Deceiver Exarch? Oh, we did. Oh, we're halfway there. Or is Zealous Conscript just better because they're both doing the same thing? Zealous Conscript is a stronger card. I agree with you. And Pestermite might come back. I also hope... I mean, either way, we're probably getting Pestermite or Seed of the Synod here. I think it's Zealous Conscripts. Don't whiz on the electric fence. Have you watched the new Matt Groening? I have not. I did see you. I did see you say that earlier, um, and then I forgot what it was. And I was like, "What is that? I don't know what that is." And then I realized that oh, it's the Matt Groening show. Um, did Mike say he's reading Sandman? I have the first eight trades for, but haven't gotten past the second. Man, brutal. Kiki Jiki, <clears throat> nailed it. Nailed it. We're doing everything that we want to do with That's this deck. Want, yeah. Also, if Ann Chronicler or Eldrazi Sky Spawner comes back, I'll be okay with that. Or Polluted Delta. Don't whiz on Michael B's face. You can take Mox Opal. It's actually probably pretty good in this deck. Yeah. It also might come back. <clears throat> no. You don't no, think so? No. All right. I'll take it, but I'm not loving it. Man, yeah, let's go into the main board. Well, yeah, but it's an artifact. It's a it's a zero man. Like I'm, I'm putting it with lands. Oh, okay, gotcha. What's a main board, man? Come on. <laughs> I knew I would trigger you with it, so I had to say it. God. Over there, like. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing right now. I'm doing the triggered. Oh, the H three H three triggered. Yeah, that's a classic. I wish I could get a green screen for that. I'd put that up immediately. I bet you can. I can't find it. Um, yeah, none of these cards are great. Burst Lightning is probably the only option, really. Uh, would it have foothills in case we get something to fetch with it? Maybe. Is that better than just deal four? Probably not. I don't know. 
I don't know either. I think we're yeah, taking. Bursling's probably fine. I guess you're going to the main deck, huh? Oh, Mana Leak and a Preordain. <clears throat> I like Preordain way better than Mana Leak. Really? Yeah. Really? That little demon is the best. What little demon? Oh, are you guys talking about? You guys are talking about Disenchanted, aren't you? All right, I'll take a Preordain. Mm. I don't love it, but I'm gonna take it. Oh, Platinum Angel. If we can get some Lightning Dice Greaves. What? Not if you get your Lightning Greaves. Actually, you weren't here, but yesterday I lost a game. My opponent, I like, no way we lose this. And then they just got Platinum Angel, put Lightning Greaves on it, and I was like, guess we're dead. Yeah. That'll do it. <clears throat> can you still use lose to time if you have Platinum Angel out? Yes. Okay. That would be amazing. Your time just never, it's at zero, and you're still like, cool, I'm still in the game. I guess that'd also be like in real life, you're like, all right, we're going extra turns, and it's like, uh huh. Okay, you oh, lose. Okay, right? you lose. No, I can't. I wonder, does that work? Do we have any judges in the in the chat that can tell us if that works? Like, in real life, if you go to turns at the end of turn five, do you win the game? Oh, we can get them. Yeah. I think, well, we could have took serrated arrows, which might have been better. But I don't think so. Oh, could, do we just get this? And, <gasps> the Greaves, though! Yeah, let's take the Greaves, boy. Oh, man, I really want to I already have one combo, man. Plus, that's also really good with, like... If we're in a situation where we just play Kiki and put a Greaves on it, and then it's like, you know, you don't have the combo, but you can still make it broken things. Uh, it's hard to do because uh, when you Kiki... Eh, I guess that's fine. I forget, I'm going I'm to be real upset if the donate comes by, though. <clears throat> so the thing is, if you put the Greaves on Kiki Jiki, you can't target it with, like, a Pestermite when it comes into play. So you can't untap it. So Greaves on Kiki is actually kind of awkward. Angel doesn't prevent loss via MTR, which includes any penalties and timeouts. That may, that's good to know. Standoff in Honolulu. What is this? Oh, I think I know this meme. All right, so Mirror Enforcer. Oh, Spire of Industry could be good. It's basically just a dual land for a deck, right? Yeah. It's probably better than Mirror Enforcer. Oh, this story is crazy. Yeah, this is hilarious. It's not real, but it's really hilarious. Have you ever read this? Yeah, I know this meme. <clears throat> Sky, oh, this guy's good. You have to get off the table. No. <laughs> I'm good. I like Sky Spawner because we have Ruination Guide, and it also just ramps us. So, whatever. I'll take Mind Over Matter, I guess. I don't foresee us playing that, but... Hey, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you not whiz on the electric fence? No. I love whizzing on the electric fence. Dang. The Pestermite did not come back. Nor did the Seat of the Synod, which is really weird. Angel does make my low power level commander group really sad. Man, if that's making your commander group sad, you would not want to play commander with me. Mike is an actual commander monster. Yeah. Although my latest brew is very fair. Is this ever going to be turned on? I just make lots of zombie tokens and turn them sideways. It's still better than Skizik, I think. Does Ruination Guide count towards blue pips? Uh, each blue and mana costs... Yeah, I guess so. Trinket Maggio. Could take a Boros Signet here. Trinket Mage only gets Mox Opal so far. I need your expertise on card sleeves. Which are your favorite? I really like Dragon Shields, but I get so much dust in the sleeves. Uh, I really like Dragon Shields as well. If you get dust inside the sleeves, maybe you should stop hanging around at Turtle Day. That's that's my. Uh, I think that happens last with at least in my experience with the the matte <clears throat> sleeves. I don't seem to have. A... I hate the matte sleeves though. Why? I like the gloss. Like it's just so. Oh, they shovel. So nice. Yeah, the gloss shovels better. They're so smooth, man. A braid is actually really good. It's I think it's either Boros Signet or a braid here. I think we could take a braid. Oh, shrapnel blast, spire bluff, impulse, walking barista, barista. I think it's actually spire bluff. We don't have that many dual lands, and these are pretty replaceable. I bet one will even come back. I'm gonna take the spire bluff. How do you feel about that, man? Good talk. Seems fine. Sorry, I was reading chat. It was from nothing. Oh, I like this Chandra. <clears throat> man. Of course. Mike, who's your favorite commander right now? Currently, Sidisi, just because I just built it. But I think I 
in the long run, I think July was my favorite. Holidays. It's it's Chandra, right? Uh, do, 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 do. yeah, I think so. We're not donating anything. Oh, com compulsive research or temporal mastery or spell skite. I hate shuffling the gloss sleeves. Select the matte ones. Uh, well then you're a big dummy. No, the gloss ones definitely shuffled way smoother. They're so smooth. Which makes me think I'm actually probably gonna buy two new sets of sleeves to make my commander glossy. I think it, I think they shuffle differently. So if you're looking for the the kind of shuffle you get from the matte sleeves, you probably just like shuffling that way. You know what I mean? Like it's just a different preference. Which one is it? It's one of these two, right? We can also take Spell Sky because it protects our combo. Yeah, I like that. All right. And it's an artifact for obvious reasons. Like, I mean, it's great with lots of our artifacts. I wonder if we're still playing Academy. Probably. Oh, yeah. 100%. We have a land. We have one, two, three, four, five. Don't count the big six, stuff. seven, eight. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess that's a good point. There's no point to count those. When we have this eight mana guy, it's, it adds another it mana. It adds dude. one mana. It's great. I mean, Frog Mites. Oh, we also have Mox Opal, so... Seems like an easy choice. Also, I'm not too sold on Thassa here. Frogmite's actually decent because we have a Ruination Guide. So it's actually a 3-2 for, for Freezels. I don't care about Ring of Gix. We could actually put the Cruel Tomato with this Urborg. That's pretty cool. Is trigger checking cheating? I don't know what trigger checking is. I, I think it's Thoughtcast. Thoughtcast sounds great here. The super slidey ones where the deck just falls over. And say, I think that's Dragon Shields when they're new. Once you get a little wear in your Dragon Shields, you should be fine. Stop being a baby is really the the lesson to be learned here. Time Spiral has been pretty unimpressive for me. I never want to cast it because I'm always ahead on cards. Ooh, Mox Diamond and Electrolyze? Jeez. I think it's got to be Mox Diamond. I think I agree with you. I do like an Electrolyze a lot, though. I'm going to go with the Mox Diamond. <clears throat> Turn one Mox Diamond, Mox mm -hmm. Opal. Uh, Seat of the Synod is three mana. Frog Might something. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, Chrome Mox. We just got all the Moxes. Mono Moxes. That's the one Mox I don't really like. I don't either. Which is funny, because... I actually took it out of my Commander deck. Yeah, I wish I, I don't know what trigger checking is. I'm pretty sure it's just Drowner here. Yeah, Drowner is great when we have Ruination Guide. And... Is Memnite playable in our deck? <laughs> Definitely. It's probably just Flame Slash, though, right? Yeah, I can see that. Uh, checking to see if your opponent is paying attention to their own triggers like Chalice. You also have to be paying attention to those things. So if yeah, you're on both of you, if you're just checking to see if they like if you can angle shoot and try to get some free, like you're not playing Magic, like then you're just trying to pull one over on your opponent like it's just yeah it's just angle shooting scumbaggery if your opponent misses their trigger and you also because it's also on you to, to not miss the trigger like it's both players are responsible for that Also, just poor sportsmanship. Like, that's not that's not really what magic is about anymore. It was like that back in the day when you were, like, when everyone was cutthroat Wild Westy. But, like, it's really more about actually, actually outplaying your opponent rather than, you know, convincing yourself you outplayed your opponent by, you know, distracting them or trying to get them to forget things. Like... <clears throat> is this colorless creatures? This guy's. This might be the first deck that Vile Aggregate's actually decent in. This power equals one of the cre colorless creatures? Like, that's crazy. Huh. Do we need three cuts? It's actually a good amount. Frostburn Weird can probably come out, maybe. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, You're actually not a four drop. You're not a five drop. How good is Force in our deck, actually? Forest? Force. Oh, it's not very good, actually, because these are both 
Um, Colorless, they yeah. don't count. I don't think Force is good. We, yeah, we only have, have one, two, three, We have like three, three cards that we can five. actually discard yeah, to I us. Yeah, I think it's like four or five. That's not great. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's not good. One more cut, huh? How many artifacts do we have? Uh, not including the two diamonds in the sideboard. A lot, okay. Nine. So 11 total. And as far as colorless creatures go, a good amount. Nine colorless creatures. So we need one cut here. I feel like it's four spike. Really? Over Bosch? I think Bosch might... Bosch just won the game, though, right? Reese, if I saw it, buddy. I can't tell if you're, like, being serious. I don't think this... I I mean, it's... It's up to Taunus. I don't know if we can play... Can we play Boros Signet? It's an artifact. I don't think it has to be in the color identity. I don't think the artifact itself is in... Artifact isn't in any color identity. It's literally in... Right it's, now, my it's favorite colorless. deck is Ramos. Well, it's Ramos. I don't know that card. That is the mercenary. The rebels. The rebel, that, the rebel dude. Oh, no, I was wrong. Oh, that guy. Who am okay. I thinking of? Lynn Civy? I have no idea. Okay. He's a dragon engine. Ramos, dragon engine! Um, One cut. Maybe Bosch. Bosch is pretty expensive. What you know about my Bosch? Nothing. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. I don't want to cut Boris Signet because we do have... Wow. Whatever, Taunus. You you friggin' nerd. Alright, we'll cut the Boros Signet. That's easy enough for... Uh... Doesn't feel good. It don't feel no good. Alright. This actually seems fine, though. Six and six. Got blue, red. Blue, red, blue, red. Six, six. Seems good. I was Uber driving last night and at the five bars that the college kids go to in one parking lot had 20 cop cars warning kids to behave and not to drive drunk and yet when everyone left at 2 a.m. and then been calling Uber and many of them have gotten fist fights and people are going to... Jesus. <laughs> Good lord. So this is going to be... Oh, we have... Wait, we got to go 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. Because we got two, bur two bros. Yeah, this deck looks sweet, dude. We have multiple. It looks pretty broken. We have multiple combos. We have Platinum Angel and Lightning Greaves. We have the only thing this deck is missing is like Metal Worker, and Donate Illusions. Yeah, well, we we donated that combo. We Man, did. We should have took. We should have took it. Dang it! I said that. <sighs> God, you're right. I feel a little bad for making you cut stuff. <laughs> you can't just donate nineteen eighty to out of out of out of feel bad. It's also a very odd amount. Oh, it, it, it went up to seven hundred even. Oh, okay, sure. But I will accept it. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it as always. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand. It's a little iffy, but any artifact on turn two. Like the nice thing is that Mox Opal, even if it doesn't have Metalcraft, yeah, it still it still taps with Academy. So, so we're just gonna go Island here at first, though. Because next turn it's an easy choice. Huh. Well then. I really don't want to... I don't want to run it out yet because if they have just an answer for Mox Opal then it's real bad. I will just cast a Mox Opal though. And then next turn we can play Sky Spawner. That's okay. Thomas, thank you so much for the donation during your own stipulation, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, that was pretty nice. That's a nice little gentleman. This meme sums up the only thing I don't like about Commander. Yep. 100%. 100% I'm used to that feeling. That's why I don't like to play with anything over four people. Do we just pass and play to see Rexock at the end of the turn? I think so. You made a deck? I actually think this deck is pretty good. Share the meme. Yeah, you gotta share I the meme. I don't know how can I share it. You show it up to you hold it up oh, to the okay. camera. 
I'm going to force spike this. Oh, actually, I'm going to deceiver Exarch. Untap a permanent eye control. All right, let's see if this works. It says, waiting for my turn in a five-player commander game. God, it's so true, dude. And it's a skeleton waiting t that's dead at a computer. Hmm. Aren't we all dead at computers inside? <laughs> 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 so our opponent's not really doing much. Correct. Well, no, they tried to play Trinket Mage. That was a thing. And then we actually Deceiver Exarch, untap a land, and then Force Spike. That so that was pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no. Yeah. Wait, that doesn't yeah. do anything. You don't even have an artifact yeah. in play. Yeah. Did they you just tap, tap it? it from mana? That's <laughs> hilarious. Do you, think it's, do you think it's all artifacts in play like your opponent's Oh, wow, that would be amazing. It, uh, oh, the old main phase plume veil. All right. One, I'm sorry for making Thanos make you cut a card based on color identity bug. <laughs> all right, Recif. You're off the hook this time, buddy. Oh, God, where's our red mana, bro? One, two, three, four mana. I'm going to tap this dude and attack. Oh, okay, take it phone. easy. Take it easy. Oh, we found our red manners. God, we're good at this game. Man, we're just dirt will beat down. Man, that Talarian Academy, they tried to tap it for a blue. That was hilarious. Hilarious. If you don't get to my zip tonight, you can save it for Legacy. Oh, that was that's a great idea. I'm pretty sure we can get to it. I'm gonna. I have two more. You and uh, Josh VS. So we're. Um, yeah, we're probably gonna. We're probably gonna stream like later tonight as well. I really want to have as many videos as I can because the cube is going away. Once the legacy cube come out, <laughs> never probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone said a couple weeks. So my dad. Okay. Well, this has been constructive and great talk. And constructive. Really yeah. I think casting this guy and killing this is probably better than risking Dr. Owner. MD. No pressure to stay up until dawn? Shoot. I'll, I'll, I choose to stay up till dawn. I do that every day. I live that state. Yeah, he does I do, that, do every. that every day. Hence why he wakes up at 3 p.m. and he's still tired. Hey, man. I'm going to be on all the streams, boy. We'll see. We'll see. I might leave early on Thursday, but I'll be here. He's got to go to his commander. His little bridge club. Are they deciding whether they want to counter this? Probably. Cryptic command? That'd be a good one. <laughs> well, that shuts our, our everything down. Well. I'd rather <clears throat> that on than Dr. Owner. Oh, Why September are you Dr. Owner? Because... Doctor Owner. Oh, okay. I got you. It's Doctor Owner. Because it's so strong. That dude was busted at the PT. Especially because they had Eye of Ugin back then. Remember that card? Mm -hmm. That was a strong card. September 5th. That's actually pretty close. Atomic Frog, welcome back. Thanks so much for the sub, buddy. Well, this is fascinating. So we can go... Why don't we have a... Th we, don't have, we only have two artifacts right now. We can go Fire Diamond. I'm pretty sure we're killing this. Yeah, it kills that and shuts down their academy. Yeah. That's pretty good. And it, it takes them off of a second red from this, too. What does this make right now? Two? And this is not online yet? Dang. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, if we get one more of any land, we can make a token, which turns on Mox Opal. I think God turned up the heater today. It is freaking hot. That's, that's every day in the summer, buddy. That's a good doggo. That is a cuter. That is a cutie right there. My friend Mike just posted this. A different friend Mike just posted this picture of his doggo, and I'm like, "That is a one cutie." 
Normally, I'm not super into little dogs, but that's a good one. They just had to pay full value, a full five mana for this, for this thought cast, which makes me think Doctor Owner is probably pretty safe to resolve here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. God, watch them have mana leak. Because because the stupid tap land. Oh well, I was gonna, we're gonna play it anyway, so I don't know why I was like, oh no. Four, five, six. Oh, snap resolve. Hmm. I can tap you and get in there for five. Tap you again, get in there for ten. Math checks out. <clears throat> lucky, 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 lucky. Actually, we got in there for four. Did we miss a point somewhere? Did one of our things leave the battlefield? I don't know what's happening. Do you think we'll see more goblins in Ravnica? I'm really excited to manage to just complete my first magic deck and it's mono red goblins and I don't know if goblins... Goblins are... There's pretty much goblins on every plane. Yeah. Goblin are like the common folk. Goblin are the common folk, eh? Sure. Kiki Jiki. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty gaseous. This is where they go Sower of Temptation, and we're just like, oh, I don't have an answer for that. I guess we just attack for five here. If we sack this to tap this guy down, then they just block here, and they take two more. Six, seven. Is that good? I don't know. We're also in a position where we can actually just start making guys off Urza's factory, which is pretty good. I kind of think we want to just slam this guy, though, right? Nah. I don't think we need to. Well, I don't want them to start chipping away at us with this guy. Yeah, I mean, we're at 20. Well, no, but they get free cards, though. And they can cast them all because of the same color. That is a fair point. Plus, if we draw Lightning Greaves, just slap it on. Just slap it in. Just slap it in. Slap it in? Yeah. Slap it in, slap it in. Alright, don't care about that. Unless you need double red. Oh, they didn't attack. That means they don't have a burn... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> Every time! Oh, jeez. Oh, biscuits. I'm doing the math right, right? Wait, actually, no, because if we kept this up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but then we'd only have red. Oh, man. Maybe we only have like 10 mana. We only have, we only have 11. There we do. Three artifacts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh yeah, I forgot you could sack that guy. I might just make a dude here. Actually, making a dude makes Talarian Academy real. It makes it so real. It makes the calamity do real. What did he just say? Nobody knows. It's a mystery. Can you guess who? It's a mystery. Playing Boros Signet in his mono blue red deck. Actually, it's a blue red deck, right? Look, this is they just have our deck. Only their their stipulation creator let them play their Boros Signet. So, who's your stipulation creator, and what does he do? Oh no! 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 So I guess they're just gonna Snapcaster here, or uh, Cryptic Command rather. You got it, dude. They just got to tap our team down, which doesn't seem great because they have actually reasonable blocks, right? I don't know. Take me to your stipulation, creator. My dad. <laughs> tap all the dudes, draw a card. I'm fine with that. I'm at 20 
my life. Yeah, we're just going to pass, make a guy, and that would give us an extra mana from the Talarian Academy, so that should be 12. Here comes Illusions Donate. You ready? They don't have triple red. Well, now they do. One, two, three. I don't know what's going on here, but they, they, they're they tapping this mana pretty quick. Quick, quick, quick. It's going to be like a Sower of Temptation or Control Magic on our Platinum Angel. ba da ba Banana. -na. Na -ba -banana. Ba -ba -na -ba. I like books because you read them and they're good. Ba -na -ba. What did he just say? <laughs> That's fine. Unless you do some real broken shenanigans with this, I don't see this being super OP. You can only make two mana with Talarian Academy, so discarding one card nets you a mana. You can tap my guys by discarding cards, but you only have three cards in hand, so... I'll be honest, I'm not terribly concerned. I probably would have attacked first if I were you. Um, instead of playing your island, because now if you hit a land, you can't play it, and you might be limited. Yeah, now you can't play that guy. I guess you can if you go... I think they're just dead. If they tap out to play this guy, they're just dead. You discard a card, you untap this? No, you just regular untap it. Okay, this is... This is something. All right, make a assembly work Ario. Boop, 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 I'll shoot you with the card that allows me to once again lose the game. And then they're like, stifle, and I'll be like, <laughs> dang. Trick behind you, bro. Oh, I see. I see. I understand what's happening here. I should probably activate this, but I guess not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, they can also redirect to Spell Skite, so that's worth noting. Uh, Talarian Academies are legendary, but each player can have a legendary permanent. I feel like this should this has been this has been the case for like ten years now. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while since, since I, I could hold my head up high. They're at six. They have two blockers if we tap this guy down. So they go block here. Block here, they take two, three, four, five. I guess they could untap or tap anything they want. Hmm. Send over Dr. Owner. Red Rover, Red Rover, Dr. Owner. Can Dr. Owner come over? They're just taking it? Good lord. I think we're just playing this guy. Because we're never gonna they're never gonna let us use this, so we just have to put it on board. Put the bodies to the board. Let them. One, nothing wrong with me. <laughs> Two, nothing wrong with me. Three, something's got to give. <laughs> I like that you're just talking. You're like the Richard Cheese of Drowning Pool. Something's got to give. Three, nothing wrong with me. For a little bit, just playing the same deck. <sighs> oh my god. He's gonna kill us with our own Bosch now. Tell me more. That was really all there was to it. Man, having Bosch in play is so brutal now. We just lost.
Every time we lose, we're one away from killing them with Bosch. It's unbelievable. Cool. Attack with all my guys into your guys. Yeah. Wait, wait. What? I'm not gonna get. I don't care. He couldn't have actually done that. Why? He's at one. He attacks four of my guys into his guys, dude. Oh. Two, two oh, one yeah, gets okay. blocked by two three. One four gets blocked by four four. They don't attack with this guy. They throw this guy into wherever. Two one. Two two into oh four. We have one flyer, they kill us. Like, it just doesn't even... It's just really dumb. Actually, should we be running Shrapnel Blast? Why not? I don't know why that's not in our deck. I didn't know we even had it. Oh, man, what's my favorite Kuro episode? That's actually... That's hard to say. Something's got to give. We did 3-0, Spaghetti Toucher. We did. We did 3-0. Spaghetti. Someone on YouTube said, just trying to be constructive here, but was it worth considering red instead of blue with Inferno Titan and some other solid cards to fill in for what blue for what was blue in the deck already? P and Ravel seem strong. And I'm just like, yeah, that actually is constructive, though. Like, uh, yeah, this scene seems fine. Mox Diamond goes well with both of these. I can't mind Slaver, dude. Come on. Come on. Ooh, we can get him. I'm gonna cast this now. So this costs four, so we can play it next turn. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really don't want to play it now because we have four spike. Yeah, we can wait a turn. Oh, play your land first. There you go. You're not free at all. Live free or die, Frogmite. It's really weird because, like, our opponent's deck seems much more awkward than ours. Like, Triple Island? Four islands? My god. No. Something's got to give. Not terrible. Now we can go 1 2 for Frogmite, but then we can't play this in the same turn, which is pretty sad. We could actually just play Covetous Dragon here. Yeah, that's probably better. Yeah, 6 5 seems strong here. Something's got to go. Well, like 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 the lightning greaves. Probably should did that first. I mean, it doesn't do anything. We're not gonna like. I don't think they're blocking and pumping. Um, that seems good, right? Frogmite. Uh, Delicious Frogmite. I am tempted to Shrapnel Blast this guy, but, I mean, considering our clock, it's... Yeah, that's just going to kill them. 
Yeah, you can hit a card. Here comes mine. Here comes our mind slavery. Ready? Island. Great. Dude, I was gonna rage if it was actually the. Uh, if it was actually mind slaver. That would have been pretty hilarious. I feel like cryptic command is coming. You got another. Oh, that was really. If you think they have cryptic command, you don't play your spells first because then they. Deal. Fascinating. Let's play Chandra. Don't tell me what to do. Fine, don't play Chandra. Play something worse. See if I care. No. They have to have a counter spell, right? I'm really surprised they didn't tap our team down. Sure. Something's got to give. <sighs> Refreshing. So Andrew just said... Uh, talk of T1 Flats Taco Tuesday as a final goodbye. Are you in? And I'm like, Mike and I are thinking the Carmelitas isn't that better. And he's like, substantially better. But T Flats is a Florida squad tradition. And I said, well, that makes sense. And I made sure to put three dots in the front of it because that doesn't make sense. I'd much rather go to Carmelita's. Same, dude. By leaps it's and bounds. It's much better value. And it's quality's higher as well. Yes. You're attacking with this guy. Also, I don't think I've ever been to T-Flats with him, so I don't know if it's even a tradition. <laughs> well, not our squad. I mean, he has a oh, lot yeah, of friends here, fair. you know? Yeah, that's true. True, true, true. Did you let them know of the deal? What's the deal? Let them know about the all you can eat talks for ten ninety nine or whatever. It's definitely not ten ninety nine, right? It's like I think 11. it is. Maybe it is. So if we go to kill them, if we should shoot them in the face, they're gonna redirect it to spell sky, which leaves them with two blockers. And they can double block here. I think it's worth to get them to one though. But it doesn't get them to one. They redirect to spell skite. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just literally just said that. <laughs> like that was literally my whole the whole the whole conversation we had revolved around that. Oh, they're choosing them no, they're choosing us. Okay. I was like, oh, they're choosing themselves? I mean if they take Shrapnel Blast, we can resolve this guy, which is kinda cool. Oh, they did LOL. You did. I said you did. It's actually perfect because now we have one, two, three, four, five, and then we have two. Might as well attack first, though. Oh, we're 100% attacking first. Nothing wrong with me. They're going to double block. We're going to burst one of the bros. We're going to burst it for four, though, so if they redirect it to Spell Skite, the Spell Skite dies. I'm really fascinated. Interesting, interesting. I don't think we do it on our turn. There's no reason except for the fact that they have very little mana. Fair trade. Seems good. Six five shroud flyer. Hmm. Hmm. 
Remove a counter, create a 1-1 one, one colorless. So they can make one guy, but then that makes it unable to trade with this guy. Uh, which is actually pretty good, because now we can attack with everyone, and they have to block the dragon or else they die. And then that means... Yeah, this is actually very good. Yep. Make a pentavite. If they, they can't double block here. Yeah, that's fine. So now Pentavis is always a 4-4. I guess they could take a counter off, make a guy, reapply the counter though, can't they? That's obnoxious. I don't know what's happening right now, but I'm pretty sure we're probably going to lose here. Oh, you're just making your thought cast cheaper and your Talarian Academy more powerful. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So you don't have Mind Slaver kill us mana yet. God, they're at three. Here's your own plot. Cards aren't even good. They're really obnoxious, though. Do we have anything to shoot them in the face with? Fire ice, maybe. Still one sh one point shy. I feel like we just wasted our our things somehow. I feel like we should have just kept the shrapnel blast and left the other idiot on board. Yeah, I thought that's what you were gonna do. Like, if, if we attack, they just put one of these guys back on here. They just block and then add a counter to it. Yep. It's pretty obnoxious. We actually should have played this land. Because if we draw Urza's factory, we should be able to make a... I'm pretty sure they're just going to slaver us and kill us somehow. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. What burn do we have left in our deck? I think we used it all. Tinker for curse scroll? <laughs> That's weird. Well, that's the thing, I guess. Enjoy your turn. Well, we don't have anything they can use against us, so that's nice. It's weird that they left, they, they made all their guys super small, so even if they attack with Frogmite, we're still getting two tokens out of it. You just block with five tokens? And you look like two one ones? Or you just jump with one? This is not. This was not the most impressive mind slaver. I have no idea what's happening right now. We're slowly dying. Are we, though? <laughs> Jesus. Yep. Fine. Fine. 
Play one more card and then your curse scroll is good. No, that's good. Yep, that guy's got to die. I'm not sure what our draws can be that are any good. It's going to be a land. It's going to be like, well, not that. It's not even that great. Oh, we we have Lightning Greaves. Yeah, we do. Oh, but they have they just get Mind Slaver back. That's really vomit inducing. That's so bad, dude. Like, it's so good in any other situation. I really wish I knew more of our deck so I could just be like, oh, we have this card, we can play it. Because they just literally attack with it, and they're like, alright, I'll block with these two. Yeah. Like, this is just infinite, right? Well, it, he has to have artifacts to sack, but I mean, he's basically infinite. Yeah, we're not going to play this out. This is stupid. Preordain would have gotten a scry scry, bottom nose, draw Bosch. Yep. I, yeah, I think we could have played that match differently and probably won. That seems really interesting. Um, I'll keep this hand. Manafort convicted on eight counts, mistrial declared on ten other charges. Wow. Cohen, Trump directed me to commit felony. In a stunning development, Trump's ex lawyer Michael Cohen says he broke campaign finance laws at the direction of Donald Trump, implicating the U sitting U.S. president in a felony. In a plea deal announced today, Cohen admitted he was guilty of several crimes, including illegally arranging hush money payments to Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal, who both alleged they had affairs with Trump prosecutors. That's unbelievable. That's pretty unbelievable. Uh, is it really, though? Yes. Actually, the fact that it's actually, like, there's actually movement happening on it is pretty unbelievable. The actual fact that it happened is is completely believable. The fact that things are being done about it is what the, is, is, the is the unbelievable part. So I would say yes. Boy, I really wish we had another land here. This is an awkward mox. Maybe you're right. Maybe you you're might right. say it's mock, mock word. Mox word? Squidward? Hey, Squidward. Well, it's hard to think about Watergate because that was literally before I was born. So, like, I mean, it's one thing to compare it to Watergate, but I don't really understand. I don't have a frame of reference for uh, the how how Watergate work. How Watergate work? How how Watergate work? Gonna play my turtle. But excuse me. You don't know my life. So this cost three. Keyboard Cage Fighter, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I saw you lurking. We can we can go ruination guide and then activate our tuttle. I like tuttles. You even get the plus one, plus zero. Yeah, that was what we're doing. And we don't have to tap any lands because I already used those lands. Man. 
the value is so real. The Awkward Mox sounds like a D&D &D tavern or a real tavern in, like, Seattle. That's Mox Boarding House, but it's very close to the, the Awkward Mox, right? He done ate your turtle. He did. He put him in a in a prison. Oh, I don't even have you have more lands than I do. Oh, that's nerd. That's a thing though. I'm gonna abrade that thing like it's like it's standard. <laughs> One, two, we, this costs four? That's sad. I feel like I want to abrade this because then we can get in there, but I really also want to just kill this because, boy, is that thing scary. You can draw some cards first. Yeah, but then we can't do anything else this turn. True. <laughs> That's a good point. This guy's just never doing any work. That's that's my that's my sadness. I think we're gonna do it now too. I don't really feel like dealing with uh, untapped blue mana. So This cube makes such cute decks. <laughs> oh, Bjorn. Love it. Oh, I like a Chandra Torch of Defiance. You make a deal braid, huh? Get him. Yeah, we're winning the race. No, we're not. JK, JK. Well, that's pretty good. We're having a good time. This was so much better when we didn't when they didn't do this. Well, doesn't really matter, but Wow, that was so bad for us. Oh, we got a win condition, boys. Can we just Man, how lucky can we get is the question. As lucky as we want. That doesn't even make any sense. If you could get as lucky as you want, it's no longer luck, right? I don't know, but like me, bear. That's Doctor Owner MD. Mana leak. Yep, never fails. Actually, that's fine. That lets me keep my things. If we hit another land, we can actually go Chandra into Conscripts, which is nicer. Oh, never mind. They have Cryptic Command Man up. Go to eight. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, oh, that's worse. Come on down, Dr. Owner. Never, never resolving. Resolved? What a time to be alive. He's dead. He's dead before even. Do I pass it now or do I wait? Hmm. The answer is yes. Oh, you're going to make two gentlemen, eh? Two gentlemen. Yeah, but I'm a scooby doo 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 doo. Just gonna do some things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can actually go con. This is actually pretty good if they don't have a removal spell. Because we get to go conscripts, untap a land, kiki jiki. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the untap land would be ten. So we actually just went on the spot if they don't have path. Can someone tell me? I can look it up myself, but can someone tell me if sword or path is in this cube? Path has got to be in here. Path is definitely top eighted before. I don't think it's top eight. I think it's win.
I'm gonna look it up. Path is current. Path to exile is currently in the following cubeless legacy and vintage. Does that work? I don't know if it's been updated for the Pro Tour cube though. Is the problem? Yeah, it is in the cube. Dang, both are. I feel like if you had it though, wouldn't you use it against this guy to attack with everybody? Actually, we could also steal their planes. That seems better. So we go one. Two, three, four, five. Are bad things happening for us or for Conrad? <sighs> These are the questions we ask ourselves. Can you just tap the planes in response if you take Yeah. Them? Which I assume they'll do. <laughs> yep. But we gain life, so we are alive. We still get the planes. We can still play Kiki Jiki and make a copy of Drowner. Never don't have it. So we can attack with this guy. We're definitely keeping the other one back. Yep. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have nine power on board. And we can tap down three of it, so we take six. Not bad. Probably just taking three here, I imagine. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana right now, including Kiki Jiki on Doctor Owner, so There he is again. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, that's not that's less close. Alright. I think they've F sixed, so Unfortunately these are not artifacts. Yeah. I think we just kill Chandra here. Or, uh, Resto. Yeah, that seems good. <laughs> Settle the wreckage in this queue? I don't think so. So now we can actually tap two down, block the other. Feels fine. Oh, and we just win the game. All right, I guess Kiki Jiki on Doctor Owner is pretty good. It's uh, not bad. I'm sorry, what? It's uh, not bad. Is your is your voice okay? Yours isn't. I'll kill you. Yours isn't. I'll kill you. I think Frogmite's pretty terrible. 
<clears throat> I can see that. Just in general, it's just a pretty terrible dude. Yeah, it's a 2 2 for 0 sometimes. That's about it. Ah, uh, this hand is keepable, especially with the ponder. Or preordain, rather. Mox Opal into Academy doesn't... Oh, actually, both of these are great. I want to put you on the top, and then you on top of that, and we'll actually just play you. So Academy doesn't do it next turn, but Great Furnace doesn't do it either. So we'll play you first. And now we have two mana, right? Hmm, okay. Can't do anything here, but... Next turn, this adds three, four, five. This costs three, we can tap for two. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, this is actually pretty good. We can play this and then play Thoughtcast. <coughs> yep, everything's looking pretty good here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana next turn. Yeesh. Not, it's not bad. Oh, that's a thing, isn't it? Isn't it? Ryo. One, two, three. With this out, we're going to make four. Yes, yeah, so we can actually go... You can also play Exarch to make more mana if you wanted to. <laughs> That's true. I think we're just going to go Covetous Dragon here. Because they can't Cryptic Command. And then we can activate Turtle. And actually, maybe you have Resto, so we're just going to pass. Let's pretend like you have Resto in hand. Yeah, that's fine. Making one 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 here is not the best. Frogmite helps you play more frogmites. One frogmite begets another. Do they attack here? I think we take. No, okay. I was like, I think we take one, but I don't know. Bye, Davis. Bye, call. Banishing Slight. Alright, so now Resto is not an option. How much mana do we have? Four artifacts, so four, five, six, seven, eight. We have access to eight mana. So we can go one, two, play spell skite, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. So we can go spell skite, aggregate, sky spawner. That seems good. And we can total stack with our turtle. That's the plan, Stan. And this guy's a 4-5? Actually, a 5-5 five, five once this turtle's active. That's the best vile aggregate I've ever seen. I feel like a week is not a long enough time for most people to get accustomed with this cube. Like, this cube actually takes some getting used to, to know what synergies are in here and what's good. And, like, I thought viral aggregate was actually terrible. Um, up until right now, to be quite honest. Okay. So you took four from that? Seems good. It's like it attacked. It's like it attacked. Yep, that's a good one. That yeah, would have just killed the vile aggregate. Aggregate. One. Can we just mind slaver them? K 
Can we academy and then untap our own academy? One, two, three, four. So we add five, six. Untap it to add another five. So that's... It just basically pays for itself, right? One, two, three, four, five. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we have enough, though. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. So five, and then one, two, three, four, five, right? I'm not... Yeah, this is pretty epic. I choose you. Yeah, and now we kill Zesbeth. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. I wonder if there's a better line there. Like, if we played Zealous Conscripts, we could... Hmm, interesting. <laughs> uh, I will cast it. Uh, draw stuff, pay mana for it. Okay, one. Can be cast for its miracle cost, so. Let's cast it, spend one, two. Done. I did. Oh, what? I did. Click the card to, ca I'm just gonna assume it's on the stack. Draw step. Okay, there we go, we did it. That was not intuitive at all, but... Uh, with power 4 or greater, so we can actually drop a Plume of Ale. We can also just play Sphinx of Lost Truths. 3, 4, 5, 6. Why would we do that? Well, because then we can just steal it next turn and make them discard all their good cards. Oh, yeah. And we can get rid of Parallax Wave, Plume Veil, and Strip Mine. So now you have an island in hand. Let's activate this guy now. Floating Demon Skull, thanks so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Not sure why you attacked with three, but... I meant to attack with four. I mean, this is still backbreaking. Mindslaver is a pretty confusing card. Can we do both of these? We know I don't they have think just we have 12 mana. island in hand, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's close. I'm just going to tap this guy down with the Zebra Exarch, so... Yeah, that's probably a good play. Six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, and twelve. 12. They go to one here. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I don't think there's any way we could have dealt that one single point, but... Actually, I don't want to... 
F5 because we have Spolskite in play. Oh, that should do it. Let's just, let's not mess around here. I did it, come on. All right, sweet. All right, 1-1. One, one. <sighs> Amazing. I will play first. What do you think of this hand? Terrible. I hate this frogmite, dude. Better. Oh yeah, keep that. That seems good. So next turn we can go Mox Diamond into Fire Diamond. Welcome to Pro Tour Mind Slaver Cube. Boy, it certainly feels like it, doesn't it? Man, one more land would have been great here. Play a three drop. Of which there are plenty. Compulsion? Interesting. Turtles every day. What a frogist? Oh, wow. How lucky. Is that lucky? I don't know if you want to use it on turn two. <laughs> Maybe it's yeah, not like lucky. You play one extra land and draw an extra card. Yeah, that's an explorer if I ever saw one. I think that's just an explorer. Yeah, kind of is. I mean, the difference is they get to use the four mana, right? So, like, they get a fourth turn first. What you know about my turtle, though? Okay, so they're definitely playing like the, uh, they're just playing madness.deck over here. He only costs one mana, though. I suppose that's true. They're going to get us with a force spike, I know it. Is Ruination Guide worth killing? Oh, here we go. <sighs> you got the Compulsion, you got the Aqua Amoeba. Mana leak. You can't pay for this. Circular logic. That's basically a force spike. Costs one mana, and I have to pay one. Guess, yep. Guess I should have led with the ruination guide. I'm pretty sure we're attacking with the chimeric idol. Like, if they want to, s oh, they already switched the power and toughness. Never mind. We're not doing that. I was like, if they want to switch power, if they want to discard another card and then trade Aqua Amoeba, it's two for one. But I actually forgot this was part of that, so. That's where they discard a card. It's going to be an Arrogant Worm and then they draw one. That's a pretty good play, Arrogant Worm, draw a card. I got all their cards to let them draw all their cards. I'll block. Really? Fascinating. I like it. I'm pretty sure they want to compel us into attacking because they have the Arrogant Worm in hand. So I'm not going to take that bait. Instead, I'm just going to play Chandra and Plusser.
Don't be something good. It was an island. Great success. Yeah, I'm gonna assume you did this because you didn't. You wanted us to uh, freely attack you. In which case, you could eat my guy for free. Oh, interesting. Compulsion just discard Dreadwander. Okay. 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 Excuse me. I'll never excuse anything about you. Wow, that's just rude. Were you born this rude? Or did you acquire this rudeness over time? Come on, rude boy boy. Were you going to steal our frog bite? I guess so. Have fun with it. Just a stupid frog, anyway. Man, I got a Chandra on board, and you're gonna steal my frog mite? If you attack with this, I'll just block, and then we'll trade. It's two for one. Come on, rude boy, boy. <laughs> Did you like that? Did you like that? Look at all my lands are getting tapped. That's never been a drawback ever. Jokes on you. My lands are already tapped. Like if you discard your last card. Yeah, okay, just literally nothing happens. This is all very strange. Give me back my frog. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is like... just want to get that thing off the board because it's just going to pressure Chandra anyway, so... Come on, rude boy, boy. Let me out. They have one creature that can profitably attack. All right. We'll come at you. Oh, this guy can't get in there anyway. Dang it. Arg, magic. I guess it doesn't matter. That's actually a non. It's literally cost zero, so whatever. That's fine. Figured it out, ladies and gentlemen. Why don't you shut your mouth? What's our plan, man? What do you mean? I guess we gotta get tacos after. That's a good one. That's that. That's a good one. It's okay. Their last card's gonna be a land, right? No, it's probably Crater Roof Behemoth next turn, so they can tag us for like, you know, like a hundred damage. Yep. Seems good. Avenger of Zendikar is so obnoxious. You know, else is obnoxious? Platinum Angel. Can we cast it though? Wait, make two red. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, right? Ha! Guide him. Can't lose. What are and, you gonna do about it? Well, and they have to redirect it to Spellskite. Like, we can redirect the first thing to right. Spellskite, too, so. That's, That's actually pretty, good, pretty yeah. good. They need two answers for a Platinum Angel. Ha 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 bounce it. Nope, they're digging. Oh, yeah. The dig is real. I forgot you could just draw cards with that. Well, you gotta discard a card to do it. Alright, so... Digging. What? They have no cards in hand, though. Yeah, so I was like, wouldn't... Gee, isn't this just better to discard? Because you <clears> literally have <throat> no cards? Are you gonna sack this and draw a card? No. Oh, wow. That was your engine. I'll just take a million. <laughs> wow, this is desperate. Digging for one, I one more. I got one more look. One more looky loo. Come on, rude boy, boy. I guess you just kill Chandra here, right? I would definitely chump block with Frogmite. Should I chump block with Platinum Angel and Frogmite? Then we can trade. No, that's really bad. Please no, don't definitely do that. don't do that. Okay. Whatever you do, don't do that. Think of all your options and then choose the one that's not that. Okay, sounds good. I'd rather Chandra die than that. One, two, three, four. It's never enough. Six, seven. It's literally one shy. It's one shy, shy. We'll just exile and see if we can play it. Um. Okay. I believe you. Jump in the line. Jump in that Chandra line. In time. None of these just, just got right in it. Okay. Just jump right in the stupid line, man. I don't know why so, you, just did, you just did throwing everything into Chandra. Chandra would have died. You could just shove the tokens in. Okay, so literally you have two cards. You're going to put both of them back. One of them... Yeah, this is all fine. I don't care. 
You got three turns, buddy, to find two answers. Oh, dang. That's good, but like I said... Your life total is irrelevant. My life total is irrelevant. Greaves would be gas. You cannot hurt my life total. Beep, bop, boop. No matter how big your plants are. Greaves this is off. good. To You're good. Thank you. JK. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, dang That's it. That's messed up, man. Oh, dang it. This is all going to Chandra? Big Shandy? Big Shandy. I don't think you have a pump spell, so I'm just going to actually feel safe about this. Oh, I guess, the, I guess Agri doesn't kill them. That's unfortunate. I thought Agri would kill them. One, two, three, four, five. This guy's not coming down. Should have blocked with the turtles. Oh, no, the turtle would have died. Never mind. Yeah, man. What are you, stupid? What are you, some kind of dummy? Yes. What are you, some kind of stupid dummy? Shrapnel Blast. Hey! That's pretty good. That cost, what, one? <laughs> Legit. Man. Talarian Academy. Hot agreed OP. This guy gets real big. One, two, three, four... We can play this, keep a blue up. Pot of Greed? Yeah. What is that, Yu-Gi-Oh thing? Yeah. <laughs> Pot of Greed is, is draw two cards for zero mana, so that's kind of close to it. Oh, boy. So they put them to eight, and then we have six, seven, eight. So they're literally dead next turn. They literally can't find two answers for this. I guarantee it. I'm going to I'm gonna guarantee it. You're Man, gonna like the way you look. Platinum Angel's OP. It would have killed you if it had, if it had activate if you activated Turtle. What? Yeah, I mentioned Oh, that. it would have killed... Oh, if I activated the turtle. Yeah, that's true, actually. I'm a big dummy. Did you mention that? Yeah. I thought you said, why didn't we block with turtle? Yeah, and then I corrected myself and said it would die because there are three four. No, but this guy would have killed. Oh. Because it would have been a 4-5. Interesting. Because of the turtle oh, gotcha, being an gotcha, artifact gotcha. creature. A colorless creature. Word. Does it ever bother you that you're such a rude boy? Does it bother you that you're such a little Mitch? <laughs> Every day, man. I wake up and I'm like, well. Can't just... wake up. Wow. <laughs> yep, don't I care. Can. Okay. It still doesn't do anything. I'll go to negative 50 this turn. If that's what you'd like. Do you have any flyers? Do you have any lands that are flying creatures? Nope, those ain't it. So they're all five sixes? Great. I hope you alpha. Great hair. Hope it wins. Yeah, I don't foresee them having upheaval with two mana left. Really? Just those guys? I don't even know what that does. Do I just go to zero here? Yep. <laughs> Alright, going to zero. Guess we get a jump one with the one. What's the point? I'd rather win at zero life because that's cool. Just in case. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Seven mana. Still still not out. Still <laughs> still still too little. No reachers, right? God I'd cry. <laughs> Zero <Nice> life. <laughs> oh Achievement unlocked. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to bring in Shrapnel Blast, Big Shrappy. I'm going to bring in Flame Slash, too. You got a bunch of ground nerds. Probably cut Frogmite. Uh, yes, Frogmite is the first guy to go. They don't have many good answers to floaters, boy. They don't got many answers to floaters, boy. <laughs> yeah, they ain't got no answers to floaters, boy. Uh, <laughs> I like Thassa, but literally she'll never be turned on. No. What, do we literally have, like, one one blue permanent? Because these are all colorless. Oh, actually, no, it still counts those, though. Yeah, it's just pips. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's still not good. One, two, three, four. I, I mean, think, she yeah. She could just be a scry machine, but... Eh. I'm just a scry... Also, the unblockable is not terrible. Yeah, that's true. I'm just a scry machine. That was good. That was good, uh... Was you good... can't turn her on. Tisk tisk. Oh, yeah, I was... It's hard to say that without yeah implying that. Also, I like that you can't pitch Eldrazi, Sky Spawner, Ruination, Guide, or Drowner to Force of Will. No. No, Force of Will is not good. We only have like two. Like, let's look at it. We have like three cards in the deck that actually uh, 
Man, this has got Greaves and Academy and Angel in it. That's all I really want. If we hit one land, I think we're good. Unfortunately, Academy doesn't tap for anything right now. Right, that's why we need one land to go to Spell Sky, and then we go Greaves, and yeah, I think I'm going to keep this. I think it's risky, but we're on the draw, so. Yeah, it's by Elves of Derp Shadow. Oh, that was good. God, we're so good at this game. We really are. Also, I think we lead with Greaves and then just put the Greaves on the Spell Skype. Four plus her one does turn her. Oh, I guess that's true. I guess if you count herself. That's true. Oh, here we go. Ooh, survival. That's scary. Did you know, even though that's played in like zero formats, it's still $100? Yep. Because magic cards have real weird... Oh, we're just winning. Whatever, I'll play Spell Sky first. I don't think they're going to have like Rex Sage here. And if they do, it, uh, Spell Sky's always the first to go anyway because you redirect. Does Spell Sky still work with Greaves? I don't actually know that how that works. <laughs> oh, great. Yep, oh, alright, well. Uh, you can activate spell sky even if the spell sky wouldn't be a legal target for the spell. However, the target of the spell will remain unchanged. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, we're not doing that. So you can activate the ability, but it's like ping, 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 ping. It just can't actually. Oh, that's... Yeah, that makes sense because it can't target it. How did? Wait, what just happened? Oh, you discarded Aquamiba to this, and then you just got a root walla, and then you played the root walla for mana. I. I don't know if that's how that works. I feel like that's not the most ideal use of yeah, survival of the fittest. Oh, they meant to activate this and discard it for the second time. Instead, they just cast it. Well, that's that's really a, that's really a thing, isn't it? All right, so we're gonna play this. I think we're gonna go. Thank Gerald, thank you so much for the for the sub. Really appreciated. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Idol is a better use of mana this turn because if we place Greaves, we get two off of this, but then we can't do anything with it. So we'll just play Idol. And then next turn, we can play Greaves and then have this for three, which means we can Deceiver Exarch EOT. And then once we draw our Cascade Bluffs, we just win the next turn, right? You mean the one we don't have in our deck? Sure, yeah. Scrawrack seems so mediocre when you don't have. I just don't like... I'm not a fan of Scrawrack. I think it's fine if you have more than one Miracle. Yeah, otherwise it's just not great. Until that point, I'm just like... Eh. Like, everyone and their mother runs it in their commander deck, and I'm just like... It's... Eh. Oh, brody. Do, 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 do. Let's get a Greaves out there, boy. If we, no, we don't attack because then we have to tap our academy. I'm just an academy. It's a good song. I just got beat by Splinter Twin Infinite Combat Turn 4. I was having such a good time. Well, isn't that a shame? Isn't that a dang shame? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Give him the admit. I really don't want to go to Tijuana Flats, but like... Yeah, I don't either. God, Andrew's like stuck in his ways, man. Oh, that's that's really obnoxious. Just tell him about the deal, man. I mean, Andrew and his crew are probably like... All right, I'm going to just tell him. I'm going to be like, can't we just make a new tradition? Can't we just get good tacos as a tradition, I said? Let's tap this fat boy. I've been literally looking forward to the all-you-can-eat tacos, honestly. Oh, it's very good, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's very good, very good. Very, very good. Very, very big. Very, very, yeah, you got that? What is it? One, two, three, four, One five. Pound fish. Oh, we can't really do much here. One, two, three. 
four, five, six. Oh, we're so close, dude. I feel like we should have waited to play this actually, just because we can tap this guy down on attacks. Now they get to go in again. And you get the chisasosis. Chisasosis. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, God! We're one shy of like you can get twitch and uh, twitch, twitch and salsas, twitch and salsas at Tijuana Flats, but it's not the same. I'm gonna put Greaves on this guy for now, and we'll just move it if we get the uh, the Kikums McJikums, or we can just vile aggregate actually. Domo arigato, vile aggregato, domo. Don't forget when you play Kiki Jiki, you must move the equipment over. Or the combo doesn't I kind of want to just kill Scroll Rack here. Yeah, we don't have too many other targets anyway. Because I want to attack with this guy and I want to activate my turtle, so let's make good use of manas. Oh, let's see what we exile. Hopefully they put something good. I guess they didn't put anything on Avenger of Zendikar. Circular logic. That's actually nice to not have to deal with. How nice. I'll put you back on here because you're our, our golden child. Watch, it's going to be Fire Diamond on the top of our deck. You ready for it? Mm -hmm. I mean, ideally this guy's not going to matter if we can get Platinum Angel plus Lightning Greaves plus Spell Skite. Um... However, we'll have to see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're 100% they're getting Avenger here. Because that is like... Any other day, yes. But we're locked in for tacos at 8.30 at T-Flats. Alright, well, enjoy. That's really frustrating. Why be so rigid about something that's like subpar, you know? Yep, this is all fine. This is just fine. Yep, this guy is scary. These guys are going to be real real big. How did they get a counter already? Did I miss something? I don't know. Because they couldn't have had a land because they drew one card, right? And they discarded Wall Blossoms to get Avenger? I don't know. One time. Bosh is... Bosh. Bosh is just starting the death of us. We should just cut Bosh. Literally six mana and one red source. Seven mana, eight mana, three red. This is unbelievable. I think we're dead. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely dead. That's actually ridiculous. Let's see what the next card is. Nope, that wouldn't have done it. That would have done it. Yep, that's pretty pretty amazing. How many cards do we have for Force of Will? Mm, you can always hard cast it. Yeah, it's actually fair. Especially with... Yeah, we're going to take out the Bosch. I'm just going to bring in Force of Will here. Because they have some things that are like really hard to deal with. Yeah, like Avenger. Yeah, and Primeval Titan. I'll keep the sand. Needs a little help. It needs a little help, but I think we have enough to get by. Like, we have two removal okay. spells. Having the burst lighting is, and the fire is nice for their stupid dorks that they'll have right now. That was a good draw. They kept a one lander. I was like, what? I guess we can just play Ruination Guide here. I don't love keeping... I guess we could have tapped a land during their turn to just try to hit another land for us. But... 
I don't know. Experiment one doesn't seem like it's super scary. And any land lets us play Chandra, so that's pretty good. Again, it's really not that big a deal as early. I don't know if it isn't, though. Like, it lets them develop their their later game a lot faster. It's essentially a rampant growth. Or explore, whatever you want to call it. Right, but it not it's not only just a rampant growth. It lets you use the mana you get with rampant growth faster. You know what I mean? Like, a rampant growth you played on turn two, and then I get to play my turn three. Whereas, like, temporal isolation, temporal mastery, they're like... You rampant growth, but then you get to untap all your lands and use them as well. Well, I guess if they're just wall of blossoming, that's relatively fine. I'm probably just going to block this guy. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and that's fine. This guy doesn't add to affinity or anything, so... Plus, like, having him off the board is better if we do hit a land for... Yeah. I think we draw a card now. <sighs> never fails. <laughs> just never fails. That's a good dude. Actually, if we can just hit a land. Any untapped land... That was insane. Especially because it now gives us the mana to... Oh, thank God. Now it gives us the mana to do both of these. Because Chandra can plus to let us right. do either of these guys. Or we can just play a Doctor Owner next turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Green Sun for 2. Why not just do it for 3 to be sh to, like just to open your options up? Wild Mongrel. Interesting. He's going to have circular logic. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Oh. Oh, that's real good, actually. Oh, man, this is nice. We're going to add two. We're going to Zealous Conscripts. They're going to circular logic. We're going to steal this doggy. Brover Wover, come on over. Yep. Get your trigger on. And we should be able to win next turn. Untapping any land doesn't do anything, right? So we're just going to steal your doggy. Give me your doggy, and I'll attack you with my doggy. I'm gonna attack you with this doggy. I guess we're not blocking with Zell's Conscripts. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't attack with it. Oh, uh, because I was thinking I want to be able to block the Mongrel in case they try to kill Chandra, because Chandra gives us our mana for this. But then I'm like, well, if we do that, then they just eat our thing. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, it, the point is, if we Kiki Jiki next turn, we're not really uh, concerned with that anyway. So, they have three cards in hand. So, if they actually wanted to kill Zell's Conscripts and survive, they have to discard two. <sighs> we can still win. How? We just. Uh, never mind. Yeah, like. <laughs> optimistic that you think so but they just kill our Chandra and our Zealous Conscripts so Burst Lightning and Fire are in the graveyard so wow that's oh actually it's Flame Slash it's not Roast yeah oh that's pretty good <laughs> alright well we're still in it Man, this is a friggin' emotional roller coaster, this match. I thought this was Roast where it can't hit flyers, and I was like, wow, that's like the most perfectly uh, ridiculous draw ever. 
untap land one time. You didn't do it. You messed up. Force will still an okay draw. Really? Like, I want a thought cast here. Yeah, that's fair. So if we draw a blue card land, I guess we're okay. That would be good. Unless their last card is... Yeah, I'll just play this. All right, we have three red sources in play. Four, we five, six, game. seven, eight, nine. We survive even if they, like, go land, discard a card. Yep, that's fine. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We go to four. If they had a counter spell, we only saw circular logic. That was the only. We only saw card. circular logic in three games. Hopefully, we'll just draw a blue card, and it won't matter. That would be nice. Blue card off the tippity top. <laughs> yeah, you think Doctor Owner is blue? We can't not go for it, right? Yeah, I agree with you. Are you serious right now? Wow, your last card is a forbid. <sighs> we probably should just play Dr. Owner. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, exactly, if they attack with everybody. That's actually unbelievable to me. How the odds of the last card to be a counter spell? Come on, man. I hate this game. This game sucks. It's so frustrating, man. And this card has to not be blue. Like. Yeah, I'm just going to block the Wild Mongrel. Zealous Conscripts is dead now. We have no way to get cards out of our graveyard. So if you want a two for one here, that's totally fine. Yep. And then this guy actually survives this guy in every future turn. You have no other cards. We're not dead. Kiki Jiki was a real pain because we really like uh, Dr. Runner with Kiki Jiki is pretty good. Yeah, I don't know how we actually won from this spot. Really? They only have a 4 5 and a 2 1. Yeah, but they have so many things that are really good in their decks. So. We have a Force of Will. It has a casting True. cost. I mean, drawing lands Boy, doesn't like... it. What? I said, boy, doesn't it. Yeah, well. Also, yeah, we have Platinum Angel with Lightning Greaves. Like, we have tons of draws. Uh, I don't really like attacking here for obvious reasons, but... No, he just, like, throws everything under the bus for it. I'll throw you under the bus for it. It's not what even under the bus. They really just trade with this guy and everybody else lives, so... Yep. Yeah. Force, force of will, 100%. It's okay, I got counters too, brah. Oh, that's good. Me like that. That's insane. So it's going to be two when the slaver's in play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slaver. Yep, that's 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 how you do it. I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to kill him this turn, but hopefully. We slam this guy into this guy. We make this a 1-3 and slam it into our wall. And we discard whatever they have, whatever they draw to the Oh, it's still good. We're just not going to win right away. Yep. Uh, this guy doesn't make sense to attack no. here. They also have no discard engine anymore. And now we get to untap and take a turn? That's pretty good. Ugh, gross. Not the best draw. It does make Academy Tap for one more mana, though. Yeah. I guess it does do that. That's fine. You can only block every other turn, so... Yeah, you can't get that guy back now. All right. 
If we kept the thought cast, couldn't we have countered the... Yeah, sure, but we didn't have a fifth land at that point, so... I mean, that was, like, ages ago, and by the time, like, we, we were yeah. looking for a fifth land, so... We couldn't actually cast the spell at that point, so I wasn't too concerned. Oh, that was a good draw. I guess we're just hoping to dodge Avengers of Zendikar. Yeah. Oh, wow. These draws are live as hell. This makes this guy 5-5. Five, five. Two 5-5s. Five, five. I don't like this. I don't like attacking with the Scion here just because they block. No, that'd be bad. Plus, I'd rather save that for when... We get desperate and we need to... Well, they have to block... Well, here's the thing. This is two in the air, right? So if we put them to six... They're already at six, right? Because this is two next turn. So they can, they, they can only take six. Which means they have to block... If they block here and block here, they take five. And then this guy can't block next turn. I think this is actually just fine. Oh, this guy also has trample. So, yeah, this is really oh, yeah, good. True. Yeah, that's fine. So you take two here. And then we ingest something. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, that would have been a pretty good draw. I mean, they didn't have enough mana to activate at that turn. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, true. Still, like... Oh, got <laughs> him. There. All right, 2-1. Not too bad with the uh, with the is it deck. And uh, is, it, is it good? I guess so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons on the YouTube video if you have not done so. Check me out in Patreon and Twitch. Links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.